One of our deal breaker questions was, can we have a pet? And we had spoken to other places and they say, yes, you can, but there's a weight limit. Yes, you can, but if they pass on, you can't replace them and all these sort of things. Here, there was no, do we have any weight restriction? No. Can we have a pet sitter or a house sitter when we're away? Yep, not a problem, as long as they're over 50. I guess most people who would move into a village like this have the smaller fluffy dogs and I just thought, I wonder how I'd go with, you know, my size dog. It wasn't a problem at all. So she's a very well behaved girl. Just take her for walks, take her to the dog park, take her around uh, the village itself. As you get older, you need peace of mind because you just don't know when you might have to go to hospital or something and you need someone you know to look after your animals. We just don't want any pet sitters off the street or out of the paper or Facebook or anything like that. With the pet sitters, the ruling is that they have to be 50 plus and they have to be checked by management. So when the time comes when I need someone, I'll actually use the same pet sitter because that pet sitter will then be on management's books. So it works out really well, yeah. There's a lovely doggy park outside. That's a, a quite a big area and that's a temporary one at the moment, but it gives the dogs freedom to run and play ball and sniff around and everything like that. We walk up the street and down the road and it's called Oasis Park and we walk through that and that's a proper little bush walk with a concrete pathway through and we cross over two bridges. We can leave here and go out and around and then we walk up here and all the way along the back and then back around and back and it's like a good half hour walk. So it's a fair bit of space. 